Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. It's the Matt's RV Review Sports, and today, we are taking a look at the top five fifth wheel toy haulers for 2022. Will and I, we searched through the data, we searched the sales records, brochures, Tampa show, and got feedback from you guys, the RV Review Crew, to come up with a list of only five. And you guys won't believe who actually got the number one spot. We're starting in three, two, one. So to begin the fifth wheel toy hauler category, it's gonna be something very unique. This is a beast of a toy hauler. This is the Riverstone. What's very unique about this is it's not your traditional toy hauler. Back here's the garage area, and it's actually the master bedroom, and it lifts up out of the way. It's good so you can get a small golf cart in here, a small bike, something smaller, unlike your 13-foot garages. But where they lose space in the garage, they make up. This is the best toy hauler with the best living room area. Let's take a look at the inside. And they give you an outside TV. And more storage, look at that. Full body paint's beautiful. This is the Riverstone Legacy. This is just cream of the crop when it comes up to this. I mean, look at this. Look at that front kitchen. Show that, it has the kitchen island and everything. Coming on in here, I mean, look at this front kitchen. This is absolutely beautiful. Kitchen island, walk up there, Kati. Show everybody how, oh my gosh, look at that. Look at the little thing up top, like the steam guard. That is so cool. Nice refrigerator. I like how the refrigerator's on the hitch. And there's actually two slide outs up there. Oh, no dinette in this unit either. You got the uh, bar style, but also you have a desk area. Guys, this is a toy hauler. If this could, if there was a hybrid category, this would be number one. But this isn't like a real toy hauler. That's why it's it's number five on the list. But look at this. It's kind of it's a hybrid. It's in its own category. This is more like a luxury fifth wheel with a garage. And then here in the bedroom, guys, look at this. This does not look like a toy hauler. What this bed does is it raises up so you can get the stuff in. Super awesome, stackable washer dryer, slide out right over there for the wardrobe, TV and everything. Guys, this unit's kicking butt and taking names and that's why it made the list. Even though it was low on the list, it still made the list because it, truthfully, it's in a category of its own. That's why it's number five. Let's take a look at number four. In fourth place is the all new Heartland Cyclone 4014C. There's something that I really love about this and it's the floor plan, okay? And here's something that I want you guys to notice, okay? Perfect, follow me real quick. <laughs> These are the old steps of RVs, okay? You see how it has to be in the unit, in the frame? About two, three years ago, uh, they came out with the solid steps. Because they came out with the solid steps and they were so successful, you're now able to have a floor plan like this because notice how the entrance is on the slide out. That was impossible to have before this unit. You know what I'm saying? So let's let's take a look at it. Uh, Heartland Cyclone does use Asdell. I mean, look at this. If we would have started in here, you wouldn't have known this is a toy hauler. Double sofas here. Kitchen Peninsula, residential appliances, a table with four chairs. Again, guys, look at fifth wheels from 2016. You didn't get this. You got one sofa and a dinette. Right over here in the back, we got the uh, bunk set up and everything. Bunk over the cab here. Up here, we do have the loft area. And then if you can move that door, look at this. Two full bathrooms in a toy hauler fifth wheel. Amazing. Thank you, Miss Kati. Mm -hmm. That's Will's sister. She looks familiar to everyone. <laughs> All right. Finishing up here. Right here. We do have that. We got a uh, king bed, tilt up, with tons of storage. Again, guys, this is absolutely amazing, the fact that this is a toy hauler. Cyclone's kicking butt, taking name, leading, leading them all when it comes to toy haulers. Let's take a look at the next one. Now the Keystone Fusion is Keystone's top of the line for a toy hauler. Right up front here, we do have a nice painted fiberglass front cap, and the new graphics look better than the previous year, in my opinion. I think they look, look absolutely fantastic. Right here, we do have the Lipper component pin box. 
a little bit of storage right here and a generator is right here. This does have six point hydraulic auto leveling, which is very nice. A little bit of storage right there, not a ton. Right here we do have the solid steps. Okay, frameless windows. And then here's what I love about these toy haulers. Back here, the ramp door to get your toys in and out actually doubles as a patio. I love that feature. Let's check out the inside. We're gonna walk into the toy hauler way. Walking in, here's the garage. This is a toy hauler. This is where you bring your bikes, your ATVs, your golf carts. This is where you store them. What's really nice is these two, they come together to make a bed. They also form a table and chairs, which is nice. And you have a big bed right up there. Also, we do have a half bathroom right here, which is a very nice feature. Porcelain toilet, nice sink placement and everything. Right here's where the TV is. And then over here in the living room area, we have a quad cushions theater seats, which is very nice. All four of them is directly across from the TV entertainment center. You do have a fireplace there. And then above the doorway to the garage is a little loft area for another person to sleep. Right over here in the kitchen, very unique, different style, style of kitchen for a toy hauler. And this kitchen island does have seats, so four people can be sitting around here, uh, kind of like eating bar stool style, which is pretty cool. And then coming up here is your full bathroom. A little small for a fifth wheel toy hauler this big, but again, it still knocks it out of the park. Nice shower, nice toilet, nice everything. And then this is what's really impressive. A huge bedroom right here, king size bed on the slide out, very spacious. Right over here, you are able to get a washer and dryer in here, or you can use it for storage. Three AC units, a TV, and more storage right underneath here. Great, so we're over halfway done with the top five awards. Now, before we show you number two and one, I want to take a quick moment to thank Lippert for sponsoring the Matt's RV Reviews Awards. This episode is sponsored by Kurt. There's a reason why manufacturers are all switching over to the Kurt Rotoflex pin box. Jen and I went with the Kurt A16 fifth wheel hitch. Uh, this is perfect for our truck because we do have a short bed and it's on the slider. And it also makes it very user friendly with the red, yellow, and green symbols telling you whether it's safe to tow or not. With this hitch, it also, it wraps around the pin of the fifth wheel hitch so that it has the best connection and makes for the smoothest ride. This hitch also articulates in each direction so that you have much less chucking while going down the road. Making it a smoother ride and the best riding experience when yes. towing a fifth wheel. That's why Will chose the Kurt A16. That's why the manufacturers are using the Kurt Rotoflex pin box. Thank you so much for Kurt for sponsoring yes, this video. Let's continue the video. So the number two fifth wheel for 2022 is the Grand Design Momentum 397TH. And one of my favorite YouTubers actually owns this unit. This is Tara Hello. from Chad and Tara, Changing Lanes. That's right. How's it going? Good, good. So uh, do you mind showing everybody why, like what year is yours? Ours is 2018. 2018, mm -hmm. not a lot has changed because when it's the best, if it's not broken, don't fix it. Why don't okay. you show everybody sure. real quick why you like this unit? All right, um, I can't get into a lot of the technical stuff. That's Chad's arena. Hey, it's not right? my arena either. Right. Yep. But I knew, I do know, like we do have the Onan generator Good. in ours. Good. Um, I do believe that's an option. Okay. Very nice. So what I do like about it is how large the storage bays are in this one. Ooh. Oh, I'll get it. Okay. Because this is a drop frame chassis. Okay we get to have the large storage underneath. Very nice, yeah. very nice. And then the inside? The inside. I love the solid steps. Okay, the solid steps are great because they used to be so heavy, I I, I really struggled, but now I can just go boop, boop. So are you saying Grand, Grand Design listens to changing lanes and they made it the hydraulic steps now? Yes. Good, but I love we it. we listen to you guys and Us then too. we give the feedback to yep. them and yep. then they, they listen. So I love great. that. That's why Grand Design's number one. Uh, and then this unit's great insulated and you guys full time in it, right? Yes, we have been for four years. Awesome. Now it is a little bit different than ours because you know, it's a newer model of course, but okay. it's very similar layout. And I love it because this big island right here. Mm -hmm. um, ours is a little bit different with the sink. This is a larger sink now. But I didn't really like it. Um, let's see. 
this is our coffee bar area so you know we love our coffee so we keep it here lots of cabinets in the kitchen which i think is great because there's storage under here as well yep you can see under here this is another thing that i told them i wanted and okay. look it's there this drawer that pulls out instead of just being a shelf i, I love that yeah and little things right yep the yep. little things and so all of this is storage this oven is a newer oven now too that they're using which is awesome it's turkey tested turkey approved it, is it? yes did you test the turkey no no but that's just what we say we didn't <laughs> test the turkey um still just tons of storage like this pantry and our pantry is full good all the time good and, <laughs> and then coming on back here yes we so also have the same setup Oh, good. They do offer it in a super sofa too, but I like the table. Got it. All right. Ceiling lights, half, wow. Yeah. What the heck do I know? Nothing. Two full showers. There are two full showers in this. We use the shower as storage. Okay, okay. <laughs> but it's usually just the two of us, right? Yes, so yes. when his daughters come to stay, they have this whole area as their guest suite. Wow. The bed comes down. We have desks here now for okay. us, yep. but you know, we leave them their space. Perfect. They have a bathroom that they can use and a mirror and their own TV. I love it. And it's great. And there's a patio off the back that you yes, can see. Yes, my favorite, mm -hmm. my favorite TV right there. And then let me run up to the bedroom real quick. Okay. I'll be right back. Very nice shower, bedroom area, big size shower. And then right here, it is the king size bedroom nice tv prep no it's not prepped it comes with no it might be prep for a stackable washer is it prep for a stackable washer or it comes with it it does not come with it okay as as it didn't then Pre I mean, so it's prepped it's prepped and i appreciate you for hey did we plan this no we did not very last minute i was coming in here myself to do some filming and yes. you just threw this on me so and if somebody wants to see your filming if they don't know who you are Tell everybody one more time who uh, you are. Yep, on YouTube we are Changing Lanes and we also have a really cool website, changinglanesrv.com. Nice, any other plugs? Well, you know, Chad's gonna be sad that he missed this opportunity. But... Sorry, Chad, we'll get you next time. I know. Uh, we saw him at the Balloon Fiesta. And you, finally, you guys are Grand Design Ambassadors? We are. Any sponsors you wanna throw out? Throw them out now, we got them. Oh gosh, you put me on the spot. We have some great ones, but I'm just- I... Grand Design, e-bike, all want, of them. I don't wanna miss anybody, so. 10-4, ten 10-4. Four, ten four. Well, we appreciate you being on the show so last second. And that's why this unit was number two. Let's take a look at what came in first place. So the number one toy hauler for back to back years is the Alliance Valor. This is model 40 V13, okay? It's something that I wanna point out. If you guys watched the Matt's RV Reviews Awards last year, I, I'd say about 90% of the winners last year did not win this year because they didn't make enough changes, right? Like this is the Matt's RV Reviews Awards. You gotta update, you gotta change, you gotta listen to the customer. Alliance did, they added the full body paint option it looks freaking fantabulous and they did a great job now the real floor plan i wanted to do was the 43 v13 but since this one had the full body paint this is the one that we're doing so well first and foremost and this is an excellent floor plan right refrigerator tv on the outside that's all we need we don't need to cook all we need is a fridge but to get that on a toy hauler is amazing in here nice living room living room amazing tv fireplace entertainment center nice corner kitchen impossible cabinetry for me though i couldn't do it i couldn't do it but this is great for the taller people uh refrigerator here with the masters of 12 volt so th this can run off the solar it, it does a really really great job and then in here 40 v 13 43 v 13 means a 13 foot garage I also love what they did with the individual tie down spots. That means it doesn't matter how long your bike or toy is, you can put it down safe and secure. Half bathroom in here, no obstruction in the bunk area, of course a patio. Second door to the garage. Three AC units, whisper quiet air conditioning units. Smaller bathroom here. Again, there is only so much you can put in these toy haulers king size bed which is very important and it is prepped for a stackable washer and dryer guys again i want you guys to know that will andrea jen i kati we take the mats rv reviews awards serious and it's not about what's the best last year 
it's like once you're the best last year you're almost never the best this year because we hold you to such a higher standard and what alliance did with maintaining this product you'll you guys will see so many previous winners they look the exact same as last year and so we, we couldn't give it to them but with what alliance did by adding that full body paint big props to them and it's an option you don't need to you don't need to have a million of them just make it an option super excited again congratulations again one more time to alliance for finishing with the best toy hauler for 2021 and 2022 great so those were the top five fifth wheel toy haulers for 2022 thank you guys so much for watching do us a huge favor leave down in the comments below let us know if you agree with our top five or if you disagree with our top five or if there's a fifth wheel toy hauler that you think should have made the list let us know down in the comments below thank you guys again so much for watching we appreciate it make sure you guys tune in again tomorrow night 7 p.m. for another top five awards. Also, check out our second channel, Matt's RV Reviews Motorhomes, to see which one, which motorhome finished at number one. Thanks so much for watching. We will see you next time.